Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to talk about the VNC server. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. All right, for those who may not be a subscriber to the channel and you're just looking for how to sign out of the VNC server on the Raspberry Pi, I'll leave a timestamp right here across the screen so you can jump to that portion of the video. For my regular subscribers, I want to take a minute and walk through this and show you how the VNC server can be used to expand your current capabilities. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi. Now, we're all familiar with working with VNC in a local network environment uh, so that we can use the Raspberry Pi's hotspot and connect using VNC when we're out in the field, say with a tablet or a phone or even another laptop. But the advantage of signing in and using real VNC's cloud connection is that it allows us to access our Raspberry Pi from anywhere, and we don't have to worry about reconfiguring networks or routers in our home network. And this is the method that I use to access my Pi when I'm out and about. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done this already in the past is head over to realvnc.com. Dot com and you're going to want to go ahead and create an account now uh, it's free for personal use and you can connect up to five different computers to your real vnc account uh, on the free side if you need more than that well you're going to have to pay for an account but once you get that set up and you know what your login credentials are then we can head over to the raspberry pi and go ahead and set everything up Okay, so now that you have your real VNC account created, you're going to want to come up here to the VNC icon in the top right hand corner of your Raspberry Pi. And I'm just going to left click on that. Once we left click on that, we'll go ahead and click right here where it says sign in to enable cloud connectivity. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter my credentials. Once you've entered your credentials, you'll see this screen next. And this gives you an opportunity to give this Raspberry Pi a unique name, just in case you've got multiples running uh, in uh, with this cloud connection. So for this one, I'm just going to call this one uh, KM4ACK-TestBox, since this is the test machine that I keep running in the shack. And then I'll just go ahead and click Apply. If all goes well, the next screen you see says that you have completed the operation and you're now part of the team name that you created when you set up your real VNC account. In my case, the KM4ACK team. And that's it. We can just go ahead and click Done. And we can go ahead and minimize this screen here or close it either way. Okay, now I went ahead and jumped back to the VNC viewer on my Mac so that I could walk you guys through how to get this connected as well. You should, now I'm already signed into mine, but you should see a sign in button right over here on the top right hand side. Go ahead and enter your realvnc.com credentials there. Once you've done that, uh, you'll get a new tab over here. Normally we just work with the address book for those local network connections, but this time we're going to use the cloud connections. So you see this new tab over here to the left that says KM4 ACK Team. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see the new test box that I have set up. So I can go ahead and double click on that. It's going to go through connecting to the cloud. It's going to ask me to verify the uh, server identity. We'll just click continue and then it's going to ask me for my Raspberry Pi's username and password. Now this is the password for your Raspberry Pi itself. So I'm going to enter Pi there and I'm pretty sure I left that password at default. So we'll go ahead and click that and there we go. We are presented with the test box screen that we were working on a while ago. So now from anywhere that I have an internet connection and the real VNC viewer, 
I can get back into my Raspberry Pi that's running in the shack. And this could be useful for many different purposes. Uh, I'd like to log into mine and I do a lot of coding work. Maybe when I am out of town somewhere, I can also, if I've left my radio connected up, I can also log into this and play digital radio from wherever I happen to be. Now, I want to go over how to sign out of the VNC server because it's not as easy as you would expect. Typically, and I'm going to go ahead and just left click on this uh, VNC icon again so I can get this screen back open. Typically, anytime we sign into a server, we're provided with a logout button that we can click and go ahead and log out of a particular server. However, in the case of VNC server, as of August 2021, there is no such button. So you can come over here and you can click through all of these different things and you will not find a logout button anywhere. Uh, I dug around, I looked on YouTube, I didn't find a solution for this, uh, and it took quite a bit of digging to figure out exactly how to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it right now. So I'm going to open up the terminal window. And we're going to run one command here. Let me expand that out just a little bit. And that command is going to be sudo space rm space forward slash root forward slash dot vnc forward slash config dot d forward slash vnc server hyphen x11 dot d forward slash cloud credentials dot bed. That is a mouthful, guys, but I'm going to leave that command right down in the description below and across the screen right here so that you'll be able to copy and paste out of the description or type what you're seeing here on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and run this command. Now, if I open back up VNC, uh, the VNC server here, you'll see that we are no longer signed in and I'm able to sign in again. Why RealVNC makes this so terribly complicated, I'll never know. But now you guys know how to get signed out of it as well. So there you have it, guys. There's an overview of the VNC server and how you might can use it to expand your capabilities. And it lets you know how to sign out if you need to. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.